before you fired it up, before you preheat it, you can throw in a load of oxalic acid when it's still cold, then turn it on. And then as it's preheating, it'll show you when the oxalic acid is turning into vapor and it's ready to be used. So this vaporizer was used yesterday and we're firing it up today. You'll make sure your torches are connected brass part to the vaporizer there, not higher, not lower. Check your torches, make sure they're clean and they're working good. There's a separate video for that. Please check it out on the website. Um, but right now I'll show you before you fire it up, you wanna remove the blower fan, put the cleaning rod inside on the bottom half and just slide your exolic acid down, whatever was left there. Um, and then, put the blower fan back on make sure it's working correctly it's picking up the little tab there once you're good with that you can open up the propane two full churns two full churns open you light it up once it's lit up you'll start seeing vapor come in coming out soon get it to work. I'm going to face the direction of the wind. So the exolic acid that I pushed down is starting to get vaporized. It's heating up. So you can see that it's almost instant. And you can start hearing it crack. So my blower fan is working, it's adjusted, my torches are good, two full turns open. I pushed the exolic acid down so it should be clean. It's heating up right now, about a minute past. And we'll try throwing in a load right now. So you wanna, when you load it, you wanna keep it at a pretty good angle. Uh, good angle meaning 85 degrees. You want to clamp in the red clamp. That's what I didn't do. So clamp that in. So when you're loading it, you want to load it at this kind of angle. At a at a 85, not 90. So 85, not 80. Around there. So you want the exolic acid to fall into the heating chamber. Once it does. Still heating up, give it a minute. Take another load. So right now I'm just throwing in exolic acid to see if it's getting hot enough and it's certainly getting hot enough. So here's one more load. switch the fan off the vapor starts coming out the top which you don't want because your fan will get destroyed so you want to make sure your fan is adjusted and it's always pushing air out the front so now that's good vapor right there you want to give it press the trigger a little bit give it a little push and you'll get a bunch of vapor coming out so you can treat with this vapor already If it does get clogged in the front, grab your cleaning rod and then just put it out in the front and push that out or a hive tool. You get one more load, 85 degrees, drop it in. I'm putting in about inch, inch and a half per load. Now that, now that it's hot, you can turn down the propane about a churn and three quarters or a churn and 
around there. Sometimes turn in a half if you're working a whole day. You can just turn it down to a turn in a half or a turn in three quarters. There's your thick white vapor. You can treat with this vapor right here. Now if you threw in a load and you're not getting any vapor, you can remove the blower by unclamping the red clamp and then taking your cleaning rod and push down the exolic acid that might be stopping your new loads from going in all, to, all the way into the heating chamber. So once you clean that out, the blower will fan back on and that'll make your uh, vaporizer work better. So one more load at an 85 degree angle and there's your vapor. So if you're putting in your load and you're not getting any vapor at this point, you might want to clean it, make sure it's clean. And usually you would do that about every 10, 15 loads or so if you're loading it at the correct angle. If you're loading it at the incorrect angle, then you'll be cleaning it a lot more often because the exolic acid will be stuck here. Another thing, before you fired it up, before you preheat it, you can throw in a load of exolic acid when it's still cold, then turn it on, and then as it's preheating, it'll show you when the exolic acid is turning into vapor and it's ready to be used to be vaporized. At the end, when you're done, you can take the torches off, take the fan off, give it about a minute or two to cool down so your metal is not red hot. And then you can just pour some water to cool it down. So most importantly is make sure that it's been about a minute or two so your metal is not red hot. And then you can just cool it off.